Exodus 14, tells the story of the Israelites crossing the Red Sea. As the Israelites were leaving Egypt, God led them on a specific path towards the Red Sea. Pharaoh, the ruler of Egypt, regretted letting the Israelites go and decided to pursue them with his army. When the Israelites saw Pharaoh's army approaching, they became terrified and cried out to Moses, questioning why he had brought them into the wilderness to die. But Moses reassured them, saying, Do not be afraid. Stand firm and see the salvation of the Lord. God instructed Moses to lift his staff over the sea, and the waters were divided, creating a dry path through the sea. The Israelites walked on dry ground with walls of water on both sides. Pharaoh's army pursued them into the divided sea, but God caused confusion among the Egyptians. The wheels of their chariots became stuck, and they realized they were fighting against God himself. Moses stretched out his hand again, and the waters returned to their normal state, engulfing Pharaoh's army. Not a single Egyptian soldier survived. Witnessing this incredible deliverance, the Israelites praised God and had a renewed faith in him. They trusted in the Lord and in Moses, his servant. Exodus 14 highlights the power and faithfulness of God. It demonstrates how God intervened on behalf of the Israelites, rescuing them from the pursuing Egyptians. It also shows the importance of trust and obedience to God's guidance, even in the face of seemingly impossible situations. Through this miraculous event, the Israelites witnessed firsthand the mighty works of God and learned to rely on Him in their journey towards the Promised Land. Exodus 15 recounts the song of Moses and the Israelites after their deliverance from the Egyptians at the Red Sea. After crossing the Red Sea on dry ground and witnessing the destruction of Pharaoh's army, Moses and the Israelites burst into a joyful song of praise and thanksgiving to God. They sang, I will sing to the Lord, for he has triumphed gloriously. The Lord is my strength and my song. He has become my salvation. The song recounted God's power and faithfulness in rescuing them from their enemies. It celebrated his victory and acknowledged him as a mighty warrior. The Israelites rejoiced in the knowledge that God was their God, and they declared his greatness among the nations. Moses' sister, Miriam, also led the women in joyful dance, playing tambourines and celebrating the Lord's victory. Exodus 15 not only showcases the Israelites' gratitude and praise to God for their deliverance, but also emphasizes his power and faithfulness. It highlights the importance of recognizing and acknowledging God's mighty acts and giving him the honor and glory he deserves. The Song of Moses serves as a reminder for the Israelites and for us today to trust in God's deliverance and to praise him for his wondrous deeds in our lives. It encourages us to celebrate and worship him as the one who brings victory and salvation. Exodus 16 tells the story of how God provided food for the Israelites in the wilderness. After leaving Elim, the Israelites traveled to the desert of Sin. There, they began to complain to Moses and Aaron, saying, If only we had died by the Lord's hand in Egypt! There, we sat around pots of meat and ate all the food we wanted. But now you have brought us into this desert to starve us to death. In response to their complaints, God promised to rain down bread from heaven for the Israelites. He instructed them to gather only enough bread for each day and warned them not to keep any overnight, except on the sixth day when they were to gather a double portion to prepare for the Sabbath. The next morning, the Israelites woke up to find a layer of dew covering the ground. As the dew evaporated, it left behind a thin, flake-like substance, which the Israelites called manna. They gathered it, ground it into flour, and made bread out of it. It tasted like honey. God also provided quail for the Israelites in the evening. Flocks of quail covered the camp, allowing the people to catch them and have meat to eat. God instructed the Israelites to gather an omer of manna for each person in their household and miraculously, they always had just enough. Those who gathered more or less than they needed found that it did not spoil, and they were instructed not to keep any of it until the morning. The Israelites ate manna for forty years, 
throughout their time in the wilderness, until they reached the land of Canaan. Exodus 16 teaches us about God's provision and his faithfulness to his people. It shows that even in the harshest of conditions, God can provide for our needs. It also reminds us of the importance of trusting in God's provision and not grumbling or worrying about tomorrow. The manna in the wilderness serves as a symbol of God's daily sustenance and his ability to meet our needs. It teaches us to rely on him day by day and to be content with what he provides. Overall, Exodus 16 highlights God's loving care for his people and his desire to meet both their physical and spiritual needs. Dear brothers and sisters, we will continue the next chapters in the next video. Stay blessed. Amen. Kindly subscribe and share. Thank you and good night.